it's the Monday now in the fifth week of, fifth week fifth week of get big so I'm gonna do my body checks which I'm gonna do every month so I'm gonna check my weight now and then I'm gonna do my body fat and my measurements right so as you look could see I was 79 kilos which a lot of that is obviously water weight you know I'm not gonna put on how much is it like four kilos in four weeks you know it's not gonna be pure muscle but I just done my body fat now and I'm actually surprisingly like really pleased of how low it's actually kept it's saying I'm still 6.7% body fat which going from 6.4 so I've only actually put on 0.3% fat which was bulking is really good just done my measurements now my necks 15.2 shoulders 47 arms 15.2 chest 43.5 waist 32.5 legs 22.5 and calves have gone up an inch to 15 which is really pleased about that um so now i'm going to work out my new macros now which is really awkward though because like for the last week i haven't been able to do it properly because I haven't got a phone because I smashed it. So I'm just guessing really what I'm eating, which isn't what I like to do. But it's working for, well, for the last week. If I keep doing it, it'll mess up. But. Right, so my macros are done now. They're at protein 195, carbs 500, and fat 78 grams. So the carbs have gone up quite a bit, so I'm quite happy so I can eat more. Um, Obviously everything is written down because like, you know, it might be really good and right then because my phone's smashed and I can literally keep everything on my phone. So doing legs today, heavy. I haven't done heavy in months, so I can't wait to see what I can see. Right, meal prep today, I had porridge this morning. Um, for a snack later, I'm going to have four rice cakes with peanut butter and jam. Then I've got, for lunch, I've got uh, 100 grams of pasta. Uh, spinach and 250 grams chicken so for pre-workout then I've got gold standard you know pre-workout and then I got BCAs which is optimal nutrition gold standard well I don't know if it's gold standard but it's optimal nutrition again um, and then I've got uh, after you know optimal nutrition gold standard way so yeah that's the best stuff I reckon <laughs> I know I probably sound really tired again, it's because it's 6 o'clock in the morning, but I've got to go to work now, so um, after that I'll see you later, which will probably be in Costa, so I'm going to get a coffee and some pot oats in Costa, so I can get a bit of a buzz, like. Just got to the gym now, absolutely so buzzed after that coffee, can't wait to get in there. Uh, first heavy leg session in like a month or something, so I can't wait. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Alright guys, so I'm going to talk to you through the exercises I'm doing and tell you why I'm doing them. So the aim of this session is to build size and strength, yeah? Well, by doing that, you've got to hit the low reps for the strength to build strength. And you've got to get a lot of reps, making you sure you're having a lot of volume um, to build size, which is why I'm doing both. And that's why, if you were confused over it. But anyway, I'm starting off with warm-up working sets. So I'm not going to failure. But I am going, so I'm feeling the burn. I would fail a few reps after this. So it's 20 reps, 15 reps, and then 12 reps. As you can see, I'm doing you. I'm not failing at the end, but it is burning. These are now moving in to my working sets. So I've done three warm-up working sets, not going to failure, and three working sets going to failure, pushing the weight up really heavy now and hopefully failing on that eighth rep, on that fourth rep, and on that second rep. So this is 8 reps, 140. <coughs> I have been working towards, um, you know, building my strength up. So I haven't done strength training in ages and this felt really good actually. So this is 160 now. I did aim for 4, but I did only get 2. So, But that's what it's all about though. You've got to use the squat rack as well. Don't be afraid to fall. That's what the squat rack's there for. It's about pushing yourself to your limits, especially on strength training days. You've really got to go to your limit. And as you see now, so just fall back. And uh, uh, if your back arches, you've got to let it go. If you try pulling it back up, when when your arches, when your back is gone, you've lost the strength in your back. Then you've had it. You will pull a muscle. You will injure yourself. So just leave it go. The squat rack's there. That's what it's there for. So this is one seventy for two now, which is a PB for me, personal best. 
So I'm really happy with that. So moving on to the same thing for deadlifts now. Six sets all together. First three are warm-up working sets, 20 reps. It's not this fast, obviously. I've sped it up because it is quite boring if you're just watching me do that for ages. Um, so it's 20 reps, 15 reps, 12 reps, not going to failure. And then after that then, also it's really good as well to get the feel of the movement that you're going to be doing before going straight into heavy sets. So now this is a heavy set. This Well, this isn't a heavy set. This is still a not going to failure set. So 140 for 12. I am stronger in the deadlift. I don't know why, but I just always have been. So I don't try and even them out because they are different exercises. So if you're stronger in your posterior chain, which is on the deadlift, then, you know, just use the weight that will make you fail on whatever reps you want to do. So I was failing you on eight, which is good. Once again, same thing, once your back starts to bend or you can't keep your back strong, then just leave it go. You obviously cannot handle the weight, which is what happens on my last set, which is why I didn't go for the second rep because I know I couldn't handle it. So yeah, I was happy to get one rep. It was a bit. It was another personal best to do at the end of the session. I have done two twenty before, but you know, two hundred at the end of the session is pretty good for me. So now isolation exercises. I done a pyramid set on you, uh, single leg work on leg press, um, just slow eccentric feeling the burn. Uh, twenty reps, fifteen reps, ten reps, and then take the weight off and do another twenty reps. So it's um, so this is all about now building size i've done the strength exercises now it's all about size so yeah just have a go at it really and just slow eccentric control breathe in on the way down and out push it out with your breath so hamstring curls now same thing again four sets pyramid set 20 reps 15 reps 10 reps and then 20 reps again lean over as well is a really good tip when you're doing seated ones so you get a really big stretch at the top of the movement then Yeah, my face just shows really how much it's burning. So yeah, just really slow breathing throughout. So I've done nine sets of leg extensions to finish. Three sets of my toes pointed inner. As you can see here, if you look, um, it's it's going to work on the outer part of the quad. They are made up of four different muscles, why it's called quadriceps. So it's working on the outer quad here when you point your toes inwards. As long as it feels comfortable, mind, don't do an awkward position for your body. Then I've done another three sets here of my toes pointing outwards. So this is going to work on the inner quad. I always start off with my to toes pointing inwards because my outer quad is my weak point. So I'm fresher than doing that. And then to finish then is three sets of normal leg extensions, toes pointing straight. And yeah, just 20 reps on each set as well. So it's nine sets of 20 reps altogether. And that's it basically. Right, that's the session done now. It was a really long session actually, but it was class. So I uh, got a last meal of the day now. Um, I got 200 grams of turkey, some asparagus and broccoli, and I've got a sweet potato. And um, so yeah, that's the last meal of the day. So if you liked it, which you will, subscribe for more, coming out every week, and more as well. So see you later.